Could a fracture at C4 cause bilateral carpal tunnel? The short answer is yes. The level C4 doesn't directly attribute to the median nerve, but remember, when you get a fracture, when you have an injury, and this happens often, you get very focused on the injury itself, the fracture itself, and you should. You should be concerned about it and you should make sure it heals, but it didn't happen in isolation. If I fall and I fracture my shoulder, I also did probably a lot to my spine, especially at my neck, but this never gets looked at. If you fractured your C4 and then you had bilateral carpal tunnel symptoms, it is very likely a neck issue coming from some of the levels below your fracture, which were also irritated during your injury. So almost all the time, if you have symptoms bilaterally, it means a nerve issue, a spine issue, and it doesn't mean a local joint muscle tendon issue. And specifically for carpal tunnel, it is almost always a mid to lower neck issue. So if you want, you can check out my carpal tunnel series available on TikTok and YouTube. It'll take you through all of what is and what isn't carpal tunnel and why the medical system gets it wrong and offer some guidance for treatment. You can also see me either in person or via telehealth. I expect around 50% improvement or more within about three to four sessions for treating these types of symptoms. TheSpinalTruth.com.